Hello, my name is Luke McCoy. I am the CEO and co-founder of Liger. I'm about to give you a very easy walkthrough video of how to live stream directly to YouTube through OBS and using uh, the platform we have developed, Liger Live. If you don't know about Liger Live, you can jump onto our website at ligersystems.com. We have the next generation live graphics for a new era of sports broadcast. So let's immediately jump in and see how we get this done in five easy steps. So I'm going to log into our account. We're going to use a demo account. For those who don't know what Liger Live is yet, you can jump onto the website. You can also uh, go through our blogs of how to get started with Liger in six easy steps. So please feel free to subscribe to the blog and do that. We also have eBooks on how to live stream sports. Uh, in five easy steps, which is what we're going to go through. And we also have our help center and uh, knowledge base if you want to learn more. Uh, we also have a up and running in minutes video, which you can click here. It's a 10 minute video to get set up. We're going to skip through a bit of that today. Uh, however, definitely jump on uh, and, and have a watch of that. So what we want to do is get set up to live stream through OBS to YouTube as fast as possible. Uh, and as professionally as possible. So this is the Liger dashboard. Uh, within the dashboard, you can set up competitions, you can create clubs and teams, you can also import players and squads to those clubs and teams, uh, venues as well. You can also go through ads, allocation, the analytics uh, for those ads. However, we won't touch on that too much today. I'll cover them in, in future video series. First and foremost though, we need to select a graphics theme. So for today, I've already selected a theme, but as you can see here, there are different graphics themes. Uh, I can go through them both. I can click on them, preview what each graphic looks like. Okay, intro, player graphics. I can replay the animation. I can choose um, essentially you know, different sort of example uh, advertisements that can slot in here to see what they look like. And then I can essentially assign one of these themes uh, to a competition that I've created, which I've already done. So we're going to jump straight into getting Liger's graphics into OBS. So firstly, we need to create a match. Now I've created a match automatically here, but essentially you just create a match and you select the competition, select the home team, the away team, and the date, etc., etc. But I've already done that and you select your, your credit type. You can learn more about our earner and streamer credits and our pricing page as well on, on the website. So I've got OBS open here. Now, as we are a cloud and HTML5 graphics platform, you can essentially copy an overlay link. So once you've created the match, the matches turn up in our match list here. This is the match which was scheduled to start four minutes ago, so it will be running late. I'm actually going to copy the production link Okay, and I'm then going to paste that into OBS. So imagine that my video camera is connected to, to OBS either you know, through the laptop. I'm then going to actually add a browser source. Okay, and I'm gonna call it Liger. Okay, hit okay. I'm then gonna make this 1280 by 720 because this is the overlay in Liger's resolution i'm then going to paste the liger link in here and i'm going to hit okay as you can see here, because i've set this up as a 7 a 1280 by 720 and you can see here this is a 720 resolution so you can see here now that the graphics overlay has immediately pulled into obs um, however you can't see the vision behind because at the moment this overlay is on auto mode which means it's just counting down to when the game's going to start as you can see it's on starting soon because it was scheduled to start four minutes ago and it's got a moving background behind it so now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to set up the settings uh, to stream to our YouTube channel. So you can see here in the settings, I've gone to stream, YouTube, RTMP is what I want, primary YouTube ingest server is fine, and I need to get the stream key. So let's get the stream key. I'm going to hit create, and I want to go live. So from here, this is going to default to my standard stream channel and give me my stream settings once this loads up. So here we go. This is the stream key that I want. 
And obviously it's already set up with a stream URL, that's fine. So I'm actually going to copy my stream key here. I'm then going to open up the settings and I'm going to paste this in here and I'm gonna hit okay. So now OBS, when I start streaming, is actually pointed to my YouTube channel. But obviously we need to get the graphics going for the, for the sports game. Here we're obviously gonna use a, a soccer match or a, or a football match to do that. So let's go back to Liga. What else do we need? So we need to score the game and we need to control the graphics of the game. So first thing I'm gonna open up our live score app for this specific game. And I'm also going to open up my control room. However, as you know, I've already imported and created clubs, a competition and squads. But what I want to do is I want to just make sure that I've got my starting lineups uh, correct because I am going to do player level data. So I'm going to go to my clubs and teams. I'm going to type in Sydney because we're doing Sydney versus Perth. I'm going to go to the club. I'm then going to go to adults first grade male because that's the, the, the game that I've created. Here I'm going to go to my players. As you can see here, I've actually uploaded all of our players, but I just want to check the starting lineup. Okay, so here's where I can set up my starting lineup, my bench, and I'll select my captain. As you can see, this looks pretty good. I've got 11 starters, three on the bench. TJ is captain. Okay, so this all looks pretty good. Let's just check this for Perth. Check my players. My starting lineup. Okay, yep. So this all looks this looks good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I can go to my live score app and my control room. Now, first thing here, you're going to say, oh, my starting lineups are not filled. So what I actually need to do before I actually start this game by hitting players entered about to start, I actually need to set my starting lineup. So I'm going to open up my live score app. And here you can see it says populate. So I'm actually going to populate the live score app, which is pulls all of the data from the, the dashboard, which is what I just looked at, and immediately sets my starting lineup and bench. So that's done. I'm going to do the same with Perth. I'm going to populate. Now, obviously, if I wanted to make last minute changes, I could do that. I can toggle the players off from starting and bench and actually remove them from, from the squad altogether. Okay, so now I've done that. I've set my starting lineup. Now, as you can see, this game is still in automatic mode. And within Liga for graphics, we have auto mode and manual mode. And I'm going to show you right now how that operates. So let's bring up, I'm going to move the, so you can see this. Okay, so as you can see here, let's just say the game is going to start soon. So what do we need to do? Well, we actually should start streaming, obviously. Now, game is starting soon. Obviously, uh, we've just got a nice moving background and we've got sponsors rolling through. So let's actually start the stream. Now to see that, I need to be seeing vision here. So we're gonna give this a little bit of time. Okay, because I've hit Stream, start stream, okay, so here it comes. It looks like we've connected, it says excellent connection, here we go. So right now I'm actually already, I'm streaming to YouTube, it was as simple as that. If I wanted to share, obviously the, where we wanna watch it, I would just get this link here, okay. And I could paste it in here. And this now I'm streaming directly to YouTube. So, now, I'm going to go back to our analytics. Okay. Now, what we want to see is we actually want to see, okay, well, the game's about to kick off shortly. So, we've got OBS here and we've got the Liga Live Score app right here. And it's on auto mode and we've set our starting lineup. So, and I'm now going to hit players entered, which is going to create a match back. So, I'm going to hit players entered. You can see here the graphics are going to act automatically and they're going to run through an automatic graphic sequence to start the game. They're also running sponsors, which we have set up the allocation for pre-game. So we're just going to watch this for a little bit. As you can see, this is also pushing towards our stream to YouTube. And as you can see, there is not much delay. So it's running 
starting lineups. It's running ads. It's going to do that for both teams. Okay. Footage in the background, as you can see, they're about to kick off. I'm now coming up. Okay, I'm gonna hit about to start, which is also gonna trigger this nice lower third. And here we go, they're about to kick off. So I've hit start first half, and now you're gonna see the score bug and the time with the sponsor that kicks in, which is on an, an auto loop. So now in auto mode, I can actually decide to go, okay, a goal has been scored. And I actually want to connect that goal to Oliver and hit save. This now will run an automatic goal sequence. Okay, so it's saying goal, Oliver, it's running an ad. And again, this is pushing automatically and you can see the delay. This is to stream. And here we go. This is streaming directly out to YouTube. What I can do while this is running on automatic mode, I can also decide to flick the graphics to manual mode. And as you can see, a match, crack, uh, match facts are being created, but if I flick the game to manual mode, <clears throat> okay, like this, you'll now see there's no graphics displaying because I'm actually not showing a graphic. However, I can now go, okay, I wanna show the team list again for Sydney Sharks, I can preview it. That looks good. I might want to put this sponsor with it. Okay, there was obviously not a size for that. There we go. And I can click show. And now the graphics going to show. My computer's lagging a little bit. Hence, there's a, a little bit of shuddering in the animation. I can hide that. I can also decide to show that event. So, okay, there was a goal event. I want to look, that looks good. I can show that. All right, I want to keep that on for as long as I want. Hit hard. I also have lower thirds that I can display and type in custom messages, like commentators, for example. Okay, I can preview that. Looks good, and I can show it. Now, if I wanna go immediately back to auto mode because I just wanna see that the data come in, I can click auto mode. Okay, as you can see, score bug's gonna come in. I can go straight back here and I can say, okay, let's just say it's the end of the first half. I'm gonna hit end first half. This is now gonna run automatic halftime sequence. Okay, saying halftime, one nil, showing all of the scored, running sponsors. And we can now watch this in YouTube, streaming live. And that's how easy it is to stream to YouTube through OBS using Liga Live to create a professional and sponsor-infused live broadcast. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, to jump on the website, sign up to the app for free. You can submit tickets and ask questions. As I said, we also have our knowledge base and our eBooks to help you. Uh, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for future videos. Thank you.